In this video, we're talking about how you qualify for a, a reverse mortgage. Really, we're looking at maybe three things. We're looking at how old you are. The older you are, the better terms you're going to get on a reverse mortgage because your life expectancy is lower. Then we're going to be looking at equity. How much equity do you have in your house? The more equity you have, the better terms you're going to be getting because it puts the reverse mortgage lender in a better position if you have more equity compared to less equity. And then number three and kind of number four is they will be looking at your income and your credit. Income and credit are less important in a reverse mortgage, but they still carry some weight. The reverse mortgage company wants to make sure you have enough money coming in on a monthly basis to cover your necessary monthly expenses. Depending on what type of reverse mortgage you're looking at, this may or may not include property tax and insurance, but everybody is going to have a certain amount of living expenses, utilities, insurances, food, gasoline, automobiles, things like this. So they will also be looking to see if you have enough money coming in and your credit. So the three, kind of four, but three things they're going to be looking at is one, your age. Do you qualify based on your age? Two, the amount of equity in your house. Do you have enough equity in your home to protect the reverse mortgage company? And three, your income and credit. Are you credit worthy and do you have enough income to cover your necessary monthly expenses after the reverse mortgage takes place? You can contact Sternberg Law Group. We do assist people with reverse mortgages. We are happy to guide you through that process. Again, my name is Josh Sternberg from Sternberg Law Group. Feel free to subscribe or drop any comments you may have in the comment section. We are always happy to get back to you. Thank you, everybody.